Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dan with E-Bike Nation. Make that senior E-Bike Nation. I'll get that right yet. We are, um, we're going to do another hill climb test, but today we are going to be uh, using my Juiced Rip Current S. So that's what we're going to be riding today. And we're going to be using the uh, same hill climb we did yesterday. So um, the Ranger did extremely well yesterday on the uh, hill climb test. But today we're going to see what this will uh, do with the, um, the juiced Rip Kern S. We'll see how well she performs. So that's what we're doing today. I'm not sure that this bike may not be even a little faster going up that hill. Why I say that is because this bike has a um, thousand watt motor and it's got a torque cadence combination sensor. It's newer technology. I got this bike in last year, they sent it to me. And um, I've taken it on several rides so far, but I have not really done a good hill climb test on this bike. So today we're going to get out and do that. Did I burn turn my uh, Strav app on that I forgot about? So we'll do that right now. My wife really don't like me riding unless I uh, send her a text and both of my sons so they know where I'm at on the trail. I guess you may say they're trying to keep an eye on me, I don't know. Got a couple different camera angles as you can see I've got the uh, camera angle also of the my phone and my other camera again is on my strap on my uh, backpack I did order a uh, chest mount strap for my GoPro because it's, I seem to be getting a little bit of bouncing around on this uh, shoulder strap. I'm not sure why. So we'll be hopping back on the same trail that we always do right here. And we'll be heading up to the uh, same hill we did yesterday, of course. What I like about this uh, camera angle on my handlebar, I can actually see the front of the trail as well. So I like that. This bike has um, got a 52 volt, 19.2 amp hour battery in it. So the bike is very similar powered to the Cy Russia Ranger that I rode yesterday. So I want to compare this against that on the same hill climb test. We'll do throttle only going up the hill. And uh, I'll put it in the highest gear and use throttle only. We'll see how it behaves going up the hill. And then I'll be doing uh, pedal assist five and pedaling going up the hill just like we did yesterday and see what kind of comparisons we get with my stopwatch but today you'll be able to see the stopwatch instead of me announcing it with the uh, the seconds and uh, those things you'll be able to see it on my uh, GoPro
Yeah, that's not a bad angle uh, right there at all. I like on the uh, handlebar mount. I'm sure you're able to see that on my chest mount camera as well. You'll be able to see that camera. Temperatures are about what they were yesterday when we were out. Had to wait till the mist come out of the air. It was kind of foggy this morning and had to cause havoc on those uh, cameras on the shutter. So I wanted to wait till the uh, mist cleared out so we can get out and ride. This bike has got plenty of torque coming off a stopper, and no doubt about that. I did forget to bring my extra battery to my GoPro with me. I wanted to do that and left it right in the charger. Again, we'll be doing a little bit of drone footage, same place we did yesterday, once I get done with the ride. We're in pedal assist three, doing about 19 and a half mile an hour. This bike has got an eco mode and it's got a uh, sport mode. And it's actually the sport mode is what I'm in now. And then once you get up into the uh, top speed on your um, sports mode then you'll go into what they call race mode <clears throat> and then the bike will be doing 28 to 30 mile an hour fairly easily I will be cutting out a lot of the dead space in the video today try to shorten it a little bit Yesterday's video went 52 minutes, and that's really too long. So I'm going to see if I can help that out today, and uh, when I edit it, to uh, get rid of all them dead spaces on the video. I have some uh, subscribers don't like me doing that. They think it uh, makes the camera flutter, camera flutter too much. But I have to go what the uh, general census of my uh, subscribers want me to do. Editing by far is one of the most difficult things to do on video. This is the fun part right here is writing and talking. I don't mind this part at all. But you, when you're taking an hour, hour and a half to edit a video, it takes a while. And we'll see what kind of battery uh, usage we get. I still had almost 76 to 77 percent of my battery left after I rode um, almost 11 miles yesterday. And then I did those two hill climbs and each one of those hill climbs, those, that hill is a half mile exactly from where I start to where I get to the top of it. So I did a total hill climb of a mile yesterday. The Cyrusher Ranger battery did extremely well. So we'll see what the juice does. This bike's got pretty much everything that uh, any 26 inch fat tire bike has. I think the bike right now is uh, retailing for $22.49 plus tax. The last time I looked, I'll put a link down in the uh, description box uh, for the bike. I know a buddy of mine, Gary, up in New Hampshire. Gary's E-Bike Adventures up there. He, uh, he, he just purchased the Juiced. The one I'm riding, a little different. I think it's the upgraded model. This is last year's model, of course. But, uh, and I think he told me he spent almost $2,600 for that bike. But he ordered it. He really wanted the bike, so. He asked me how I liked it, and I said it's an extremely fun bike to ride. 
Now this bike has only got front air suspension, but it does not have rear suspension, but you really can't tell it. The ride is so smooth. Again, here we are at our two and a half mile marker, right at it. My Strav app is showing a little less because I forgot to turn it on when I left the house. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this camera angle on my handlebar. Where you can pretty much see everything. You can't see so much to the right of the trail, but... Uh, you can see everything else, obviously. And again, we're going to do one continuous um, video today. I'm not sure how far my GoPro 14 will go because it's uh, it's uh, taping in higher definition than the GoPro 9 is. So it may quit sooner than the uh, the GoPro 9, only because it'll run the battery down a little quicker than the GoPro 9. So I'm kind of interested to see how that all works out. Again, we're about 19 mile an hour. According to my Strava app, 19.8 on the uh, bike computer so it's really close what I like about this uh, display on this juiced is I can see um, what watts I'm uh, riding at and I believe if I got into the settings I can also set it to see what the voltage is that I'm riding at. So yeah, this, uh, this ride is pretty much identical to yesterday. Once I get up uh, to the uh, end of the trail here, I'll be turning left. That's the uh, actual road that I'll be doing the hill test climb on. But it'll be uh, on up about a mile. I have to go up a hill, back down a hill, and then that's where we'll start the uh, hill climb test. This is really the only other 26-inch bike that's, I would say, comparable to the uh, Side Rusher Ranger. I have a Metro X, um, Magnum Metro X, but it doesn't have the power and everything that these two bikes have, so I really can't test that against this on this hill test. I will get my 20 inch fat tire bikes down here and we'll uh, see what they do as well. Probably bump the pedal assist up here a little bit. Since we got these hills to climb. But it seems to be climbing the hill pretty easily. I topped the battery off for sure once I uh, before I rode the bike today. So about 23, 24 mile an hour right now. I'm 
Went down a slight hill there. Got another bigger hill we got to go up up there, so we're going to speed up just a little bit. We're at 25 mile an hour. 28 mile an hour. Still at 24 climbing this hill, that's pretty good. Now, once you bump that up to race mode on this, it's putting quite a bit of torque into that motor. Another part of the hill here to the top of it, then we'll start going back down again. There's your hill up there that we're going to be climbing. I think you guys can see it on my uh, chest mount camera here. Be picking up quite a bit of speed going down this hill. Now when I come back up, it's so I'll probably be blowing that stop sign so you guys know it. I don't want to have to break my momentum so I can't get a really accurate assessment on what the hill climb test is doing. So I'll be going in through that stop sign if I can. I was able to on the first uh, hill climb yesterday on throttle only, but the second one I had to st uh, stop at that stop sign because of traffic. So. All right, this is the area that we're going to uh, turn around on, and this is the hill climb we're going to do right here. I'll wait till this car gets by me coming up the sidewalk, up the uh, street here, and uh, let me get my... Um, my... Um, stopwatch going here so okay we are in uh, pedal assist 5 and we're in the highest gear we can go so yeah here we go let's go ahead and start it this is throttle only this first time I can't remember exactly what it was yesterday on the Ranger But we're picking up speed going up this slight incline right here. We're up to 20 mile an hour and still climbing. I'm sorry, 25 uh, seconds. I didn't mean that. It's 18.8 .8 mile an hour right now. And that is about where I was at yesterday when I was riding the Rangers, about 18. We are going through this stop sign right here. Hope a cop ain't around, I'll get a ticket for that one. This is where it'll start struggling a little bit for sure. I got down to 14 mile an hour yesterday. And we're down to about 15.3 now. 
So we'll see what it does. It seems to be about what the Ranger was yesterday. This is going to be about the steepest part of the hill. And we're still climbing at 14.4 uh, mile an hour. So that is pretty consistent with what the Ranger did yesterday. Now, how long it took me to get up to this light up here, um, I can't exactly remember what it was on the first test. I'm thinking it was over, seems like it was over two minutes, maybe not. So we're still at 14.6 mile an hour, and right here is where we're going to stop the uh, hill test climb, right here when I pull off here. Okay, that was 15 point, or 1.59 seconds. One minute and 59 seconds on that one. So we're gonna turn around here and go back down the hill. Watch for traffic coming through here, of course. We'll go back down the hill and then we'll do a uh, pedal assist in five, see what it does. So I might have to adjust that and tighten it up just a little bit going up the hill again. I kind of figured that would do that going down the hill. get down to the stop sign here we'll turn back around and uh we'll see what it'll do in um pedal assist so right here is where i'm going to turn around and uh reset my um reset my uh timer here for the uh stopwatch here so yeah, here we go. Again, this is going to be um, pedal assist. And uh, I'll just get the throttle to get going here. So I guess I better start my um, test here. Here we go. Again, I'll be uh, pedal assist pretty much as hard as I can turn these pedals going up the hill. And we're going to see what it does. Hopefully I can go through the stop sign again. I had to stop yesterday. We're climbing 22 mile an hour going up this hill. Pretty impressive. As you can see, we're about 35 seconds. Here's where I'm going to go through this. It's kind of slow down. There's a car coming. So, same thing I did yesterday. So that way we can kind of get an accurate assessment, uh, having to do the same thing on both bikes. So I'm really glad I slowed down there. Again, I'm putting as much power as I can into them pedals. And we're at about 17 mile an hour still. Kind of like the uh, Ranger was yesterday, close to it. But it seems to be handling this hill pretty easily. We're at 18 mile an hour, so we're still climbing when we're using pedal assist. We're staying right at 18 mile an hour now. So again, we're going to stop it right up here and uh, then we'll compare the two. So here we are, same exact thing as I did yesterday. We shut this, shut it off. With 1.46 on the uh, stopwatch. 
So yeah, that will be a good comparison uh, to yesterday, what we did. So yeah, we're going to uh, go through this light up here. As soon as I get the light. Okay, uh, Tony, there it is uh, between both bikes. And I'll get you the final analytics. I'm gonna kind of put these two um, bikes together. Or this video, I'm gonna put both of them together so we can compare them. I may do a side to side by side, I don't know yet, so we'll work on that. Car's coming up behind me here, so rough, the road is really rough right here. bikes would be a great purchase the juice is definitely cheaper you're $22.49 for the juice and you're $27.99 on the Ranger so you're $500 more and at that price point on that Ranger I think the juice has performed just as well so apples to apples there this bike is $500 cheaper. That's that's huge when you talk about pretty much the same features on these bikes. Back on the trail right here. Didn't have turn signals on my uh, Ranger, but I do on this one. Try to get the camera angle back on the GoPro here. Yeah, she did really well. I kind of like the handlebars a little better on this bike. It's kind of got the uh, hanger style uh, handlebars where the uh, Ranger does not. It's more of a mountain bike type um, handlebar. And you know, there's everybody's got their own preference what they like as far as that goes. But you can see the motor on it is really uh, quiet. And again, it's a very comfortable bike to ride, even though it does not have any rear suspension. There's not a whole lot of difference between this and the Ranger, as far as comfort. I like these grips a little better on my uh, handlebars. They they got a little part comes out of it. I can rest my palm on, so I'm not actually uh, putting pressure points on my uh, wrist. 
and that's kind of what I had. I had to go to the doctor. I was having that issue, and it was because of riding these hand, riding these bikes with my hands in the same position all the time. So I'm trying 30 days of this um, non-prescription stuff, or maybe a little bit of arthritis, and hopefully that'll help. And if not, I'll start taking a medication and see if that helps. He, always, he said I would know in 30 days if the arthritic medicine is going to work. He said if it does it, it's not going to do anything, and you'll have to go wind up using uh, a prescription, which is an NSAID, which I don't really like when taking too many prescriptions. I've got enough of them i got to take now for glaucoma and cholesterol and all that happy, crappy stuff. So I'm trying to avoid taking any more medicines, but hey, when you get older, all they do is patch, patch, patch. So yeah, I think you guys can see the phone really well on this camera bar uh, mount that I have here on the handlebars. We're going to head on over to the area I did yesterday and we're going to do a, a little drone footage again on the bike. I won't be talking at all on the bike, I'm just going to let the drone do its thing. Add a little bit of music to the drone. So far, I don't think I've used any battery. I'm sure I've used some, but not like uh, it's not showing up. I haven't lost a bar yet. I think this bike is rated at about a 60 mile range. Once I get up here, um, my phone has got all those uh, stats and I uh, loaded in my notes. So I'll be reading off those notes once I get up there to talk about the bike. done a uh, hill climb test with this uh, Juice Rip Current S. I noticed that Juice is, is one of the up and coming companies. I know they're in the top five or so in uh, sales I believe just by looking at other uh, reports I've read online about it. I don't know how much truth is behind a lot of that those findings they do but uh, Guys got him an e-bike right there with that was an Aventon. They put out a nice product for sure. I've still got the stock seat on this bike, it's pretty comfortable. Had no complaints. Yeah, when you have this thing in uh, race mode, boy, you can, uh, I don't feel any ghost pedaling really at even at 23, 24 mile an hour. 
Again, this has got a combination uh, torque and cadence sensor in, built into this uh, bike, which is different. I finally went down one little bar. Then we'll get about the same miles we did yesterday, 11 or 12 miles total. I don't normally come out into the middle of this today, but uh, or today, like I usually do, I don't uh, like to come across this middle because you just never know when somebody could be texting or anything come right across that berm and you'd get hit pretty hard. But it's Saturday out here today, uh, and uh, we got a lot of people that are running errands and everything right now. We've only done about 30, 32 minutes according to the uh, Strava app so far. Of course, as you stop, that uh, Strava app will pause. It don't give you the total time on the bike, only when you're moving. Actually, I think I'm down now to about 52 volts. I can see that now on the uh, display. So we've only lost about six volts, seven volts so far. When it's maxed out, you're at 58.8 volts on a 52 volt battery. And we're at 52 right now. And take into consideration, I did a hill climb twice, which uh, equal a mile total. So that's gonna drain the battery for sure. the trail here and we'll head on up to the area that I do, do drone coverage at. Went on this traffic to come through. Looks like we're clear. I'm hoping I got my strap uh, camera mount. A little bit lower. I had it too high the last couple videos. You could see the horizon on it, but I really needed it a little bit lower, so I hope I corrected that today. It is Saturday. There's probably nobody back here working today. This little industrial area that I like to go to get uh, Thumbnails especially, which I'll take my phone off to do that. And then I will take my um, handlebar mount off here. And I'll be talking about the bike with that. Getting video. Then we'll get the drone out. And uh, like I said, I'm just going to put music to it today. And... Shows a little bit of drone footage about the bike. This area right down here is where we like to stop and get our footage. I don't know how muddy it's going to be back here. A little muddy yesterday, but 
we even got some more rain last night, so hopefully I'll be able to get back here okay. Yeah, that seems to be doable. A little muddy, but not bad. Yeah, definitely more muddier than it was yesterday. But yeah, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to stop the uh, camera on the uh, my strap mount here. And then I'll continue taping with the other one to get a description of the bike. And I'll, you'll see them both on the video. So yeah, share, like, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. And I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, let me jump off this thing here so we can uh, talk about it. This again is the uh, Juiced Rip Current S. This is my 52 by 4 inch fat tire bike. Um, I tell you, it's a beauty. If you just look at this bike and uh, it's it's all black, very stylish. You can't really see the juiced emblem except on the battery and it's in black. I guess they designed it that way for a reason. And uh, yeah, let's talk about this thing a little bit. Let me lift up this saddlebag so we can show you the motor. This has got a uh, thousand watt motor on it. So there's the difference between the... Um, Ranger in this one as well. It's got a thousand watt motor where the Ranger's only got a 750. It's got a um, it's a TWU AS or A5. I can't really tell what that is on this derailleur. Um, and it's also got a nine speed uh, cassette. And I believe it's made by the same company. I think it's TWU A5, I believe it is. That's what it's showing here. And uh, I like these handlebars because they're adjustable. You can go in and out with this, which is really cool. And here's these hand grips I was telling you about. They're really nice, um, ergonomically uh, comfortable on the palm of your hand here. So I like that. And your controller right here is turn, you turn it off and on back here. And uh, of course, you can see the, the modes of the speeds here. Um, it goes all the way down to Eco, and then it goes back up to S, or you might call that 5, and then it goes into the R, which is race mode. So it goes from sport to race mode, and that's where you can really get a lot of um, torque out of this. Um, I just had, I had some voltage sag. We're back up to 53.9 volts on this so far. So that's pretty darn good doing two hill climb tests, and... Uh, Doing 11, 12 miles, I'm very happy with that. It's got a, um, it's got a uh, twist throttle, and I'm twist throttle, it's got a thumb throttle right here, which is on the left side, which I like that on these bikes. I like them on the left side better than I do the right, I believe. And then, of course, it's got hydraulic brakes on it. Very good brakes on this bike. Um, stop you really quick whenever you need to stop. And it's got 26 by 4 inch. Well, let's see if I can find a manufacturer on these. Um, these are CST 26 by 4 inch. CST is uh, CRT. They're good brake. I mean tires. Um, again, I got flat out in all my tires, as you guys know, when I get these bikes in. And it's also got 180 millimeter rotors, front and back. And this bike has got the quick connect on the uh, front tire. So, some people like that. I don't really care either way, as far as that goes. Again, it's got uh, front suspension on the bike, but it does not have rear suspension. But the way the frame's made on this, it's made very sturdy. The way they put this little crossbar in here to go to the seat post, that's uh, nicely done. It came with this rack as well on the bike. And uh, good metal pedals. It's got the double chain ring, which I really like. And then this is your 52-volt, um, 52, 52 um, I'm sorry, 52-volt, 19.2 amp hour, as you can see it right here on the bike. 
but it's yeah it's a very comfortable bike to ride so a couple of the little accessories that i put on the bike uh, i'll tell you guys about these saddle bags i bought additionally for this bike um, it's got my turn signals which you guys can see i show you that a lot on my uh, bikes i have that uh, and these both turn signals sound different so you'll know which one is on as you can see the right one's on there it's a little different sound and uh, i did put the i had to get the mirror for the handlebars because there was no way with the way these handle grips are designed i, I could use a bar in mirror which i really like better but i was okay with that and of course my phone holder my crew new 2600 lumens headlamp which is uh, really bright which you guys have seen this on before as you can see it's extremely bright i'll use that at nighttime for sure and i got this little accessory bar that i put on here my bluetooth speaker so that's kind of what's up in the cockpit of the uh, bike and uh yeah let me know what you guys think again this is the juice rip current s uh really fun bike to ride i wanted to do some comparisons against the ranger uh so i rush ranger that i rode yesterday so we're going to compare these two and let's just kind of see how they did on the hill climb test that was the most important part of this uh, video so anyway you guys can share like subscribe hit that bell notification and i will see you guys on the next video